This is an example of a silvicultural reason to have a timber harvest. Uh, that's basically a white oak that was released from a timber harvest. And what we did was when we released that white oak, it now has space to expand its crown. Uh, the more crown it has, the more leaves it has. The more leaves, the faster it can grow. And also, as it expands its crown, the more, more mass production it produces for wildlife. The bigger the crown, the more mass a tree can produce. Uh, this is a picture of a, this is another silvicultural reason. This is a picture of a dead black oak sapling right there. And we see these in the woods all the time because oak trees are fairly shade intolerant. They don't like the shade. They need sunlight. And they're slow growers. So oftentimes they'll get overtopped by another tree, uh, not enough sunlight for them, and they die. Well, that's, that right there is a, is a lost opportunity. And actually the next picture is even a better one, even though it's kind of hard to see, but that guy right there is a dead white oak sapling. And it takes, it takes a good 10 years to develop a competitive white oak seedling. A uh, seedling, you know, from the time the acorn hits the ground to the time that white oak seed, uh, tree grows up to actually be competitive, it takes about 10 years. And what happened here is that it looks like this might be some kind of hickory or something. Uh, came up over top of it. It's a very poorly formed hickory. It's got very little value to it whatsoever. And it overtopped your white oak and the white oak died. And what should have happened is that tree should have been cut or harvested, you know, 10 years ago basically. So that's a lost resource. That's a lost opportunity there. And, and we do see that quite often, especially with the white oaks. Um, they're just, they're slower growers than the other oaks, but they're so much more valuable and it's really a shame to lose things like that. So that, that's, that's what we call a silvicultural reason to harvest your timber. Uh, 